Jeff, you have a new book out, or your first book ever, yeah. My Footprint, Carrying the Weight of the World. Tell us about your new book and your new lifestyle. My new book and my new lifestyle. My new book is about my gay lifestyle. <laughs> I don't ever hear the lifestyle thing. That's kind of funny. No, uh, my uh, book is uh, called My Footprint, Carrying the Weight of the World. And it's about me trying to lose weight and trying to go green while making Curb Your Enthusiasm. And I'm sure the lifestyle you're talking about is a healthier, greener lifestyle. Well, I'm a better person, so it's all, it's all good. For obvious reasons, I need to have a lighter footprint. I need to lose at least 50, if not 100 pounds. And as far as my carbon footprint is concerned, I'm a recycler and I'm considerate. Other than that, I don't know Speaking of a healthier lifestyle, we know you're a sports fan, we know you're a Cubs fan. How do you stay healthy at a Cubs game? You know, you've got hot dogs, you've got beer. What are your options? What are your healthy options when you're at a game? Well, that will be discovered this year when I go to a game. I was not healthy last summer, uh, either emotionally because of the Cubs or uh, physically, so I was eating whatever came my way. Uh, so this year will be interesting to see if I can eat anything healthy. What I'll probably do is eat before I go to the game. There you go. Yeah. So you became a Cubs fan in 1969 when you were seven years old. Yes. How did it all begin? It began with my father being a Cubs fan, my grandfather being a Cubs fan, and me getting my first pack of baseball cards. And uh, I got a Cub. Uh, who was in my first pack? I think it was a Cubs rookie uh, card. And I think one of them was Don Young, who made a big error that season. And how are you feeling about the Cubs' chances this season? Right now, in the month of March, fantastic! <laughs> we are going to tear it up. We're going to win the Central. We're going to the World Series and win the whole thing. Ask me the same question in June or July. <laughs> so we have, we have new owners. So if you were part of the new ownership of the Ricketts family, what changes would you make to bring a World Series championship to Chicago? Um... I don't know that I don't have many complaints about the way uh, uh, things are go going. I mean, I know we're not winning. It's hard to put that together. Um, I think the Ricketts are going to do a great job. That's my gut feeling because they care passionately about the Cubs and they're not going to uh, take away the magic of Wrigley. I, I feel good about them. And speaking of the magic of Wrigley, what is your fondest memory at Wrigley Field? My fondest memory was the very first time I ever went to Wrigley Field and uh, seeing Ernie Banks and Ron Santo in person. Uh, it was 1971 maybe, or 70, and um, I remember Ernie Banks was just standing over by the wall, and I began to scream, Ernie, Ernie, and ran towards him. And by the time I got there, there was a ton of kids, and I didn't get an autograph. Aww. But years later, I shared a locker with him at the All-Star Game in San Francisco. I played in the Celebrity Softball All-Star Game, and they had us sharing a locker together, and he autographed my bat. And it was just fun to see uh, Garland and Banks up on the same uh, thing. Also, I want to talk to you about your new project. You're working on a Little League movie. Tell me about that. When can we expect to see that out? Oh, I have no idea. I haven't even finished the script yet. But I'm, you know, developing it. Hopefully I'll shoot it in the fall, and it'll be out sometime in uh, 2011. Looking forward to it.